it says that shoes cannot be returned or refunded if they show any signs of wear. But I don't think you will return any shoes by American Duchess. I'm so sorry guys, <laughs> I've been sick so I'm sorry. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video by Jane Rochester. And in today's video, I am going to review these lovely shoes made by American Duchess. They are the Antoinette Mule and I have always wanted 18th century shoes, especially now since I am making an 18th century gown. And so I think a few months back they had a sale at American Duchess, so I thought it was time to finally buy myself period accurate. Uh, 18th century shoes and as you can see I chose a mule so um, it's backless so it takes some practice to walking them but actually it might be easier because when you have put on your stays it is difficult to put on your shoes but not with these ones so these shoes are described by American Duchess as follow Antoinette 18th century mules present a gorgeous opulence in fancy footwear for your Georgian era impressions. Correct for 1700 to 1770s, these elegant backless heeled slippers are the ideal choice for fancy gowns fit for Versailles. With a superbly balanced French heel, leather lining for easy walking and a softly pointed toe. The Antoinette mules are made of durable materials specifically to withstand both indoor and outdoor wear, so don't be afraid of ruining your shoes between carriage and palace. These beautiful slippers are easily slipped on or off when fully dressed, no bending down to fasten buckles or ties, and the real leather lining keeps them securely on your feet. So that is the description on the website. and. Yeah, let me elaborate a bit on that. So the shoe, as you can see, it is made of um, a silk polyester and it has lovely embroidery on it. Um, I got this Antoinette mule in the color ivory. So it, it kind of, in real life, it kind of looks, looks a little pinkish and I love pink, so, um, but I didn't want it to be like a very extreme pink. I just wanted it to be subtle because I'm gonna wear these with a lot of different gowns. So I thought this color would work best. But yeah, the embroidery is, is gorgeous. It's like a, a silver embroidery. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So I, I, it's gorgeous. It's just, I mean, if it didn't have this embroidery, I think it would still have been great. But this is what really, really, really finishes it off. So yeah, and um, as I told before in the description, um, it says that it has a leather lining. And um, this is quite important because Indeed, when you wear these shoes, uh, if it has like a slippery inside, your shoe will fall off. <laughs> it just will. This really helps. It really helps. The, 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 the shoe fits very snugly. I also think that if you have quite a uh, broad uh, feet, it, this shoe might be a little bit too tight. So yeah, consider that when looking up the measurements. Also, I'm from Europe, so I had to, you know, look up what size would be the best for me. And I thought it was a bit difficult. Um, I used the conversion method and my European size is 37. I think my, Euro my U uh, USA size is 7, I think. But yeah, I th at first I thought they were too small. But um, when I look on the website, uh, the shoe fits exactly the same as the model. So, and it, it's okay. I'm, I'm not slipping out of it. It, it. I think it's just getting used to walking in this kind of shoe. The most amazing detail is the heel, I think. That is what makes 18th century shoes 18th century shoes, I think. This lovely curved heel. 
and it's not a high heel so it's easy to walk in like this this type of heel is very very stable i think this is a great shoe uh, maybe not for everyone because indeed it takes some time to learn to walk in them and maybe it's not um as great for events i mean i wanted this kind of shoe to show off my um gowns so it will mostly be worn inside the house maybe i will wear it at an event that is maybe indoors but outdoors i'm not so sure although the website says it is totally possible to wear these type of shoes outdoors um yeah i have to wear them a bit more often to make sure uh that they don't fall off but i mean just from walking around in them I think it's fine and they are just so so beautiful so I'm definitely definitely not regretting buying this shoe uh, during the sale of American Duchess. Um, check out American Dutch Duchess, um, they have amazing shoes from all different time periods uh, but I think especially especially for the 18th century this company does a great job. Um, and they have a Euro web European website now, so that is great for people living near Europe. I, I've, I've been admiring them for a longer time and I don't know, since a few years I think they have a, a European website and that definitely helps because, I mean, it was shipped out within a day. I had it, like I ordered it um, on one day and it was, I think, two or three days it took. So yeah, I hope you like this video. I hope you like this review of these wonderful, wonderful shoes. Um, I hope you will see them in other videos when I am making my 18th century gown or robe à la française. And um, yeah, it will look awesome. So I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.